What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another portion of the show of the host that never sleeps. Got this old uh, J40 on the chopping block today, and it's going to begin its uh, way toward its new life of singing once again. So uh, let me just come over here and get you and bring you over here, and I'll tell you how I'm going to do this, show you how I'm going to do it. I've been humidifying the guts out of this guitar for, t I think, 10 days. I think so, 10 days and nights. And finally, it got up to 55% inside the moisture content of the wood but it still didn't those uh, cracks are not lined up like i said before one side of the crack is higher than the other one you know i can force them together now i couldn't do that before they were so far apart i couldn't do that before i can do it easy now with my thumb with my hand both of them but uh it, this is kind of a compli complicated fix here the way we would have to go about this so let me just get you and bring you over here and i'll show you what's going on at the house you see it's still not lining up. Now though I can take my thumbs and push on that brace in there and line both of the cracks up now. This one's a little bit better than the other one. The crack does only go back to the bridge and it's got that big square bridge plate in there. That bridge plate's what saved that from going right on all the way back. So what's going to happen? Well I got to get glue down in there. I thought about taking the pick guard off but it's on there pretty good and there's a gnat. It's on there pretty good, so I'm going to leave the pick guard alone, I think. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this pipette. I should be sucking glue up in that right now. I'll have to do that. I'm going to use this pipette. I'll crimp the end of it there. Maybe you can see that. And I'm going to fill this up with glue and, and hold it against the crack. And squeeze it and force glue into that crack. You know, just shove it, make it go down in there, force it to go. Over here, I'll get on this side of it, force it in like that, and make it go down in there. Now, this top, this side of the top right here has pulled away from two braces. There's two braces that run here and here, and it's just barely pulled away from them a little bit. But I'm sure if I can get enough glue down in there, that's I'm not going to have to put glue between the brace and the top from under here. If I get it down in there good it's going to run where those braces are, okay? Clean all the excess glue off. I'm going to put a piece of wax paper here and a little piece of wood and clamp that right on those two braces, both of them. Put one clamp there to hold both of those braces. Okay, you're with me so far. That should be the start on that one. All right, for this one, to get glue down in there, I can use a suction cup. I have one right here. I can use a suction cup. Y'all see me do this enough times and shove that glue down into the crack all the way back to right there. Shove it in with the suction cup until we see squeeze out on the inside of the guitar. Uh, and then I have another little C-clamp over here. And same thing, the first brace here, this side of the crack has pulled away from that brace that you see right there. So I can get a little C-clamp in there. I'll put a piece of uh, wax paper over that a little piece of wood and put a C-clamp on that and that's what's going to happen. It's going to squeeze it together like so. Line it up as well as we can anyway. This one I think is going to line up better maybe. Anyways, when I squeeze that you can see there's still an open, a little bit of an open gaping crack there. It's not very much. So I have a belt uh, clamp. I'm then going to wrap around the entire guitar's body. Let me back off so you can see it. I'm going to wrap it around, right around this area between the two cracks, right across the sound hole if I can. That will allow, that'll pull the cracks together. You know, once they're lined up with these two clamps, then the bell clamp will pull them together very tightly. And then we let that set for, probably let, let it set for like 48 hours. So let's uh, do it. All right, welcome back, folks. I think that's all the glue that thing's going to suck up. Get one of them here anyway. And like I say, I'm going to start up here. Try to force glue into that as much as possible. I'm sorry I can't show you guys a better picture. And somebody needs to see around here. <laughs> and the glue is going in there very nicely. Should get plenty of squeeze out. 
Yeah, I can see it going down in the crack. There's a lot of it coming back. Missing it, but it's, for the majority, it's going in there. Some glue on the inside of the guitar. Particularly where those braces are. Let me just put that back in there if I can. Uh, let's see. I need a rag. Let me just wipe the majority of that away. The excess, rather. And give it a few minutes to run in there. I can check it with the light here, I think. Oh, yeah, man. It's dripping on the mirror. I'll try a little bit more up here. That's why I filled two of these up, because they usually go by pretty quick. Check that out, man. We definitely got squeeze out inside. It's actually dripping on the mirror. Well, that's that's a lot of squeeze out. <laughs> yes, sir, it is. That's what we want. Let me get that off the fretboard. And the top. The water from this rag, this rag is pretty wet, and the water from it will help that a lot. Yeah, I'll just knock the glue thing over, baby. There we go. That's about all it's going to suck up anyway, I think. Yeah, man. It's coming through good. Probably right there. I need to get more glue. Along here. Take as much there. I don't want that to run completely through. And I'm going to go ahead and start forcing some glue in here. I'll have to use a suction cup on this, I'm sure. I might be able to force a little bit into it with this, since it's right against the pick guard. Mostly want it to go right there where that brace is and you know I'm just going to squeeze the rest of that out there and where's the suction cup at man where's the suction cup when you need it baby and I don't really like this front part off again the wax paper will keep the glue from sticking to uh, the clamp. Alright, suction cup time. You all see me do this enough times, I'm sure. This will get glue in there where that brace is. And it did. Get some more in there though, right to, oh, about right there. Let's have a look at that. Excellent, excellent. stuff off of there before it, it cleans up easy with a wet rag really fast man this is a fairly thick glue now using tight bond original by the way for those of you that like to know what kind of glue is it all right that's about all I can wipe up out of there I think one more look down in there. Yeah, man. It's dripping off of the brace. That one's not dripping, but it's got glue in it. It's got glue on it. All right. 
as said, we're going to put paper there, and we'll need a piece of leather too, just to be safe. And I want to get this this uh, oh man, lots of squeeze out. Let me see. I maybe should have wiped that brace off. I don't want to glue it. Okay, yeah, it missed it. It missed the glue part. I didn't want to glue the jack to the brace. That's what I was striving at. But I could move it back a little bit and be more effective, I think. Let me wipe the squeeze out of the way. Let me just take that off and wipe that away. back on that. Make sure we're not gluing to the brace. I, mean, I should wipe that off inside too because it's got glue on the brace. I don't want to glue the jack to the brace inside of there. So let's just wipe that away. And check it and make sure. If you can find your flashlight. It's dripping on the mirror, man. Okay, that's good. I don't think it's going to drip anymore. I want to put this uh, brace, this clamp back closer to the to the crack itself. So let me just, I need to wipe all of it out, I guess, to do that right. Since we tightened it up and got more squeezed out, the glue, this glue won't stick to the wax paper, at least not very much. So that's going to help serve that purpose. And I hear the heat coming. Here comes the heat. Here comes the heat. I just want to get closer to where that split is so I can really crack down on that brace and that split. Like so. Wipe that glue, that beautiful glue away. Shit, man, that lined up pretty nice. Maybe a little bit, a little bit of, I feel it there a little bit, but it lined up pretty good. Okay, got to get a clamp on this back one now. We have squeeze out for it. I've got a mirror in there, by the way, so I can see all that crap. And, uh, same thing, wax paper. Uh, let me rip that funky piece out of the way. Wax paper, the old block. Dude, I need some leather here. Oh, dude, where'd it go? I had I had a piece laid out here just for that. It's all gone, all gone. Wow, man. You see, when you when you even try to think everything out, things still go wrong. Even when you try to think everything out, man. <laughs> It's still, everything can still go crazy. All right, let me slide the, let me make sure that's covered. And get our paper. Here we go. I'm right on that uh, brace under there. I think, let me make sure. Felt like I was on it. Oh yeah, dead center, man. Perfect. That is excellent. I do want to go a little tighter with that, though. There we go. All right. Now, <clears throat> what I was talking about with the band clamp, see, I can run this across here, like so. That glue kind of reminds me of Earl for some reason. I don't know why. This clamp is going to connect right between, right in the middle of the hole where the uh, two cracks right in the center of both cracks. And we want to squeeze, let's see, it should be okay. I might have to put another piece in there, a piece of leather. Maybe not. Yeah. 
I don't want this to get against the guitar. I'll tell you what. Let's do that. Yeah, man, we got more squeezed out now. Yes, sir. And that's it, folks. We are set. Glued and tattooed. I didn't even need that other, that other thing of glue. Let's just look inside. There's no way I can get in there to wipe that squeeze out out. I mean, you know. Dang, man, I wish I could. There's quite a bit on this this one up here quite a bit more on it than there is this back one but this band camp clamp will squeeze those you know where they uh the cracks did not line up you know what i mean like that one side up or another these little clamps lined them up and the band clamp will force them together as tightly as possible we'll leave that for 48 hours come back here and take the clamps off and we'll look at it and, uh, wow, I got more glue than I thought I would need. All right, I thought about, I uh, really, really thought about this, clamping the back of the guitar back here to the bench. Just clamp it down, and then put a clamp up here on the headstock, clamp that to the bench, and pull the neck back, because that entire neck has come forward. That's why this side of the crack is higher than this side because that neck has moved forward enough you know to shift this part down it didn't the crack didn't match up that's what i'm saying and i really thought about doing that maybe i should do that yet i don't think i don't think i have to because it feels like it's lining up really well the other one i can't see it so much but i'm sure it is and the band clamp's only going to hold all that in place so uh hold on i mean gather my little collection of thoughts and I'll show you this hoarded mess and here's you a close-up of what's going on you see the uh, wax paper there the leather and this clamp is directly on those two braces underneath there now I had to kind of offset it this way this handle toward me to make room to get the little clamp in There's, there it is and it's exactly exactly over that brace and the crack back through here, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, uneven back here. It was only at the, back to where, to that brace. I think the brace might have saved it from getting worse than what it is. There's no way I don't think I can show you any of the squeeze out. I don't know, man. If you can see that or not. I don't think you are. There's a big gob of glue there that dripped on the mirror. So you can see we, I can't show you the squeeze out, but you can see that on the mirror. And you can see that we did get a lot. It must have been a lot to do that. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the squeeze out on the braces or not. I'm not seeing them through the camera, but that squeeze out on the mirror. Uh, I see the bottom other end of the, uh, jack but there's just no way i can show you man with with uh you know the way we're set up and got the whole wall clogged up <laughs> and then like i say this jack will you know that'll keep tension tighten that a little bit more that'll keep tension uh you know squeeze the cracks together there you might be able to see right there how well that lined up you adjust this light there you go you can see how well that lined up got a little squeeze out there i need to wipe away yet in fact, I'll just reach back in there and do that right now. And there you have it, friends. I'll come back in uh, 48 hours. I'm going to leave it glued up for 48 hours anyways. Oh, check this out. A Martin Bridge. Perfect, exactly the right size. Identical to the size of the one that was on there. I'm hoping it's thinner. In fact, let's look at that. Hold on. Here is the Gibson Bridge. And uh, if I read that right in the middle, right between the third and fourth strings, it's uh, 414 thousandths thick. Okay? At the thickest point. 
if I read this Martin bridge right between third and fourth strings it's 374 thousandths thick so this bridge is a lot thinner this Martin style bridge is a lot thinner than the you probably won't be able to see this but I don't know maybe you'll be able to tell it on the camera that's the Gibson bridge on top the Martin bridge on the bottom now the Martin bridge is on top now and Gibson on the bottom I don't know if you can see that very well or not but it's quite a bit thinner so that problem we had with the uh, straight edge coming back here and hitting the bridge we may not have to thin this bridge down or shave it it might be just right now we're going to find out I mean I may have to shave it and see when the time comes I guess anyways thank you guys for watching man I'm burning up the heat just kicked off it's like 10 degrees outside right now but it's not 10 in here it's it's nice man it's a little too nice actually I'm gonna tighten these just a wee bit more yeah they're good cheers folks thanks for watching we're gonna hear this girl sing pretty soon I don't know what all else we have to do we have to think about cleating those uh, those cracks maybe do that on the next video we may not have to cleat the cracks because we got those braces, you know, we're gluing them back to the braces they come loose from. So might not have to cleat it, but if we do, we will. Check this crack back here, and this one we probably will have to cleat it where it took a hit. All that's yet to come. Stay tuned, and we'll hear this puppy's voice. Uh, I like to say soon, but I don't know how soon it's going to be. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Hey, folks, right here is a way that uh, taught Lily cue ball to get up on my lap. Come on, here, get up here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but check this out. Ah, there you go. Good girl. Here, come here. <laughs> That's how we've been having to do it since she's been sick because you can't lift her. Those stones hurt her too bad and makes her bleed. But we got ways around all that, don't we? And we called it, her real name is Lily, as you know. We got to call her cue ball head when she was a pup, a baby, because her head was like the size of a cue ball. Yeah, you're ready to go, ain't you? Tell them, I love you. Look up here. Up here. Say, tell them, say, I love you. Mm. What? Mm. What is it? Oh, I love you. Let's go. Hold on. Let me let you down there. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Get. Get up in there.